UC Davis college football fans don't have to wait until the fall to cheer on their Aggies. Yeah, the great and powerful Marshall Harris live in D Davis where the Aggies are wrapping up practice this morning with more details. What up, Marshall? Listen, we're talking about practice. practice. I'm supposed to be the franchise player. You got me out here talking about practice. Not the game. Not the game, <laughs> not the game but practice. 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 Except I am actually talking about games because coming up, starting February 27th, the UC Davis football team will be playing a six-game abbreviated schedule in the Big Sky Conference, hoping to get to the playoffs. 16 teams are going to make it this year. So they're practicing in preparation. They started up last week, and here they are wrapping up half of practice. Half? Why do, you, why do I say half? Well, because here's the deal. Because of social distancing and limitations of how many people can get together, they've been practicing since last week, but half the players practice now, and then half of them are going to come on the field less than a half hour from now and they'll switch spots with the other half that's been doing a little physical conditioning as they get ready for football practice. But that's not even the kicker. The bad news is fans won't be allowed to come to games to start the season. The good news is if you want to watch this team, you don't have to show up here. We're going to have all three UC Davis home games on CW31 in our brand new partnership with the Aggies. So really, I'm not talking about practice. I am talking about the games. The games being right here on CW31. February 27th, it starts off against Cal Poly right here at UC Davis Health Stadium. And then they've got two more games going all the way into April, guys. It's going to be April. We're going to be playing college football. How crazy is that? that is crazy. I'm going to be talking to uh, the coach, Dan Hawkins, uh, a couple of players, and we're going to tell you everything that's going on, you know, with things that are good right now. But they're wrapping up practice right now. And uh, I just thought I'd share the good news with you that's guys. Exciting. A huge partnership coming up with here on CW31. So we've got college football, uh -huh. not in the fall, but in the spring, but yeah. better late than never, better, yeah. better early than never since sure. we're already in 2021 and you're thinking about the future. And oh, uh, they are hyped maybe the just field. maybe these Aggies will, well, they, yeah, that's, that's what happens. They, they, they get hyped. So that's the story out here, guys. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, I have to say, you've been with us two days in a row now. Are you trying to spoil us or what's going on? You trying to give a little take it back? What's I have happening? to remind y'all sometimes that I am the franchise player. Okay. Like I, I think you forget on a day-to-day -day basis <laughs> who the franchise player is. It's me. You now, are. I understand y'all want to sign me these little ten-day contracts. Uh -huh. yeah. You want to sign these little ten-day contracts. <laughs> I need a max contract. Did you see what De'Aaron Fox got paid over the summer? Yeah. I need one of those contracts. You need one of those. Yeah. Okay. Can I get one of those? Yeah. Have your people call our people. Cody, change the number. Before you call. <laughs> Marshall, you're my QB1, man. Y'all ain't right. Y you're my QB1. Right. <laughs> Always my QB1. Thanks, Marshall. I appreciate it, guys. You're welcome. You're welcome.